It's not enough. So how to remain born again? Matthew chapter 5. How to remain born again. Matthew chapter 5, I'm reading verse 6. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they shall be filled. For they shall be filled. The only way which I think and I believe from Scripture that you and I can remain born again is for us to strive. What the Bible calls here, touched, hunger for righteousness. Now don't forget, Paul said in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 21, he said, I'm paraphrasing now, that the righteousness you and I are having, is the righteousness we are having, God gave to us through, through Jesus Christ. Now, it is that righteousness that is imputed upon us by God himself that made God, that made God's grace to be sufficient unto us so that we will not go back to sin. So when God is looking at us, God is no longer seeing us, but he's seeing the righteousness of Christ that is in us. And if God is seeing the righteousness of Christ that is in us, we don't just fold our hands and feel to do nothing. You understand? If the righteousness of God is in us, which is truly in us if you are born again, you need to task after it. You need to be looking forward. You need to continually, just as you cannot, except you are fasting, you cannot pass through any day without what? Eating, especially without even drinking water. You understand me? Even though there's no matter the number of fruit drink you will drink. At the end of the day, if you have not tasted water, you will not be satisfied. If it's just a, just a drop, you want to put water in your, in your mouth. You want to put water in your mouth. Now, thirsting after righteousness. So, the only way, the only way I believe by the grace of God, the only way I believe from the scripture that you and I can remain born again is when we task for righteousness. What does it mean to task? To task means to be anxious of getting something at a point of need. To task means to be anxious of getting something at a point of need. At the time you needed that thing, you understand? You task for it. You are, you are testing. So righteousness should be like that. You should task for what? Righteousness. Blessed are they who hunger and task for righteousness. In other words, the righteousness of God should affect you as somebody who is hungry. You must be hungry for it every day. Because you know quite well that, yes, you are not perfect. Yes, as I, saw, I told us some time ago, that we our our ultimate destination is the kingdom of God. Now, if our ultimate destination is the kingdom of God, to pass to get to that kingdom on planet Earth, you are going to experience certain things that if you are not the type that hungers, if you are not the type that thirsts after God's righteousness. You may not get to the kingdom of God. Because you want to maintain righteousness at the highest level. I get what I'm trying to say. You want to maintain righteousness at the very highest level. If you look at the book of Exodus chapter 17 verse 3. I'm not going to read it. And Judges chapter 15 verse 18. 
you will see that in Exodus, the children of Israel, the, the children of uh, Israel were thirsty. And they asked for water because they were thirsty. They needed it. Now, just trying to make you understand that they were anxious of getting something. They were anxious of getting water at the point of their need. So also in Judges 15, verse 18, we saw there Samson asking God for what? That after all this victory, will I not die? 